Thursday, April 11th, 2019. WikiLeaks is Assange arrested at Ecuador Embassy in London. British police arrested Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, at Ecuador's embassy in London after the South American country withdrew asylum protection. His arrest opens a path for a possible extradition request from the U.S. It is unknown what charges Mr. Assange might face there. The police said that Mr. Assange will remain in custody until he appears before a judge, quote, as soon as possible. European leaders were poised to delay Brexit on Wednesday, but questions remained over just how much longer. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tweeted on Wednesday that U.S. President Donald Trump had called to congratulate him on his re-election for a fifth term. Netanyahu's election rivals have conceded in the race, but have vowed to fight from the opposition. Trump team keeps the Middle East peace plan a secret. The contents of a Middle East peace plan, authored by President Donald Trump's advisors Jared Kushner and Jason Greenblatt, has remained strictly confidential. Aides expect Trump to release the plan once Netanyahu forms a government coalition, and officials say that despite criticism of the administration's moves to date, the plan will demand compromises from both sides. Trump is briefed regularly on the contents but is not believed to have read the entire document of dozens of pages. The U.S. federal government posted a $147 billion budget deficit in March. Defense Department personnel have charged more than $300,000 at Trump-branded properties since the start of Donald Trump's presidency through last November. Almost 1,000 people gathered Tuesday night in the town of San Pedro Sula in northern Honduras to form a new caravan to reach the United States. Opponents of New York's mandatory vaccination order plan to sue the city. Opponents of the city's mandatory measles vaccination order in Williamsburg plan on filing a lawsuit this week to fight the compulsory shots. Attorney Michael Sussman said that he hoped to file the suit by Friday, calling Mayor de Blasio's threat to find those in the Brooklyn neighborhood who refused to vaccinate their kids, quote, an overreach of authority. The deadline will be over by Friday, but another lawyer working on the suit insisted it will still be relevant then. Judges, prosecutors, and public defenders are pushing for tighter restrictions on federal immigration officers inside New York courthouses. City prosecutors warn that new soft-on-crime bail laws will let dangerous thugs roam free. On April 6th, the New York City wireless network went dark, waylaying numerous city tasks and functions, including the collection and transmission of information from some police department license plate readers.